I did something stupid. Okay, you guys, this is the Brush Pro 10 inch. It was about $2,000. I think it could revolutionize the way that I clean car carpets. I also might have just spent a lot of money on a toy. Let's check it out. back and forth. Alright, obviously Max knows all about the Brush Pro. We're gonna look at this box here. It says made in Austria. Sehr gut. It's a piece of wood. It's uh, a piece of wood. Whoa. Hey, how did that get in the box? Hmm. It's so difficult to build a Brush Pro. Not with the instructions, those make it easy. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, looks like these are some wheels on the bottom. I'll take this off here, what do we got here? <gasps> it's a Brush Pro. <laughs> okay. Here's some brushes. This is actually the tray that it sits on. And as an auto detailer, I don't even want to put the really long handle on. I'm just going to use it like this in cars and hope that it works out for me. With all of these parts. We better start working. So I'm looking at the instructions here. And the cool thing about the Brush Pro is it's got these two renovator options. Essentially, they're just trays that uh, sit on the outside of the Brush Pro and are going to work as vacuum, uh, or at least places where you can deposit the dirt. So I'm gonna put these on there just like that. Yep, good job, Max. And we'll just slide it like this, I think. Yep, and you've got the renovator trays on the Brush Pro ready to collect dirt. It was incredibly easy to get the two renovator trays on there. Again, what happens is the brushes are gonna whip up all the dirt, and the trays are gonna basically be a place for that dirt to go. So it's almost like a vacuum. One thing I don't love about this so far, this cord is so short. Um, in the instruction manual, it shows that... Yeah, we have an extension cord, Max says. In the instruction manual, look at the cord. Look how long that is. And that is not what came with the Brush Pro 10. And this is a Brush Pro 10 catalog. So we're gonna get an extension cord. Yep, let's put that in, buddy. You can see these two brushes underneath. Those go toward each other, so I'm sure, I think they, they flip toward each other and they bring up uh, the dirt. Anyway, um, let's give this a shot. So the cool thing about the Brush Pro is, there's a little handle, a little thing here. When you kick it, this comes back and it turns on. Let's just see how loud it is. There it is. Okay. And then I flip it up. And it stopped. In vehicles, you know that it's so important to agitate the fibers. So what I've done here, no vacuuming, no chemicals. I've just agitated the fibers. The carpet looks really nice. You can see those lines. And now I'm going to see what's in those renovator trays. Uh, what sort of vacuum effect did this have over a very small uh, piece of real estate in the living room? So you can see how clean my home carpets look here. Now I'm just going to take the renovator tray off and let's see what it pulled up. Holy moly, look at all of that dirt and grime. No vacuum used, and look at all the stuff we pulled out of the carpet. That is one of two renovator trays. Let's try the other one. There's a little release button here. <coughs> Max, can you hold the phone? You hold it just like that, okay? We'll just press this, get this released. Good job, buddy. You're a natural. And then we'll use this one here. Sorry, how long you guys 
and you can see all the grime that's still in there. So even without a vacuum, look at all the crud that we took up out of the carpet using the amazing technology of the Brush Pro. So it is what am I doing with my life cold in Utah right now. But we're gonna test the Brush Pro with a short handle on the interior of a car, right? Because that's what I am, a auto detailing channel. If this doesn't work, I guess I'll just have to use this on carpets, huh? Okay, now it's set up with the short handle. Let's go try it on a vehicle. So the short cord is a real thing. I mean, I would probably use a different extension cord next time, but this is the Brush Pro sitting on the tray. Um, and here we can take a look at, you know, this carpet's not very dirty. I'm not gonna lie to you. It is my carpet, so we got that going for us. What would I normally do? I'd hit this with some compressed air. I would uh, probably vacuum first. Let's just see what the Brush Pro does and if we like its results. So I'm just gonna flip the handle here, pull it down, and see what happens. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I don't know what I think about the Brush Pro on cars. Yeah, did it get a lot of crap out? It did. But I honestly think for, cause look how it messed up the fiber there. I was just out of control with it. To be honest with you, I think I would probably use this on pull out carpet mats. But I think for actual car carpet, I would just stick with a brush. Cause this is just too tight. Um, I don't know what I did. This is my own fabric, so I'm not worried about it. That's why you test on your own vehicles, right? It just seems like it's probably too aggressive um, and too out of control. It's too unwieldy. I mean, it's, it's just too big. I think if we had a smaller version of this, um, we could maybe get some results. Let's take a look at the brushes there. They look fine. I think they may have some old hair from a, a different carpet job from inside or whatever, but yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. I think with a vacuum and a tornador and just a, a hand brush, I wouldn't have damaged the carpets here. Um, and I don't really think I was an experienced practitioner when I tilted it like that. That's probably not what you do. So this is probably great for residential carpets. Ah, not a huge fan on interior carpets. Again, I would probably use it for, for this. And in fact, let's try this actually. Let's see how this works. Cause this is a, a more traditional setup for a brush pro. So let's try it on this carpet. It's going nice and easy. It's fluffing the pile. Now this is pretty impressive, I think. I mean, if you're just trying to really kick butt and take names. Because from here, oops, that's a heavy a heavy piece of equipment from here i don't think i've actually messed up the fiber i think some of these hairs are probably from the brush pro um so i need to clean out those fibers a little bit but as far as like getting all the little minuscule pieces of dirt i'll bet you if i went in with a vacuum after this this would look pretty awesome so i'm actually kind of impressed with the brush pro uh, on this but definitely i would not say it's ready for prime time on the interior of cars on their on their carpets yet